Hey everyone and welcome back to KTV. Welcome, welcome. I, I'm Rachel. I'm Zach. And we are so excited to have you here. We are indeed. Today, Rachel, we're starting a new series. We here are. At KTV, a little segment series where we go through some show and tell. How exactly. do you feel about show and tell, Rachel? Uh, I haven't done show and tell in approximately 12 years when Me I neither. left primary yeah. school. Yeah. Um, but I love talking about stuff, yeah. so I'll happily talk about think, some of my stuff. I think my world changed when I realised that show and tell was assessment in primary school. Like, was it? Yeah, well, that's what you were getting marked on. Oh. Did you not know that? There you go, there kids. You go. <laughs> Everything you do show is Show and tell important. is assessment. Yeah. Um, now, did you have? Did you bring along something to show and tell us about today? I did. I'm getting a bit nervous now that I'm going to yeah? be judged. Okay. But okay. Um, I've actually am in my spare time a comic. A comic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the comics. Wow. So I've actually turned um one of our You've turned us into a comic. KTV moments into a comic. Into a comic. Um. There you go. Look I at that. I can't remember what's on it. Here's me pouring some milk, and you're saying, "Give me the milk." Give me the milk. I and did say that. I remember I, saying that in the episode. And then you're having a laugh, and I'm saying, "I am hungry." And you were then, hungry. We both ate the blended cereal and, I, and you said yuck. And I said yuck. This is a very accurate comic. Thank you. Must I say, did you draw that? That's really well drawn. I absolutely did. That's really well drawn. I did drawn. not Google photo to cartoon generator. Wow. No, not at all. It doesn't look like it. It looks like you hand drew that. That's Thank really you. great. Do you have other comics of us lying around or is like this a one time Oh, there's piece? a whole book, but I would like to Wow. Will we sell see that. it in stores soon? <laughs> yes. All good Christian bookstores. <laughs> Wow, that's going to be incredible. Yeah. Look out for the book coming soon. Uh, whilst I get my mm -hmm. uh, show and tell ready, why don't you have a look at this segment? Oh. Hey guys! And welcome to the table uh, for another week. It's so great to be back, guys. Yeah. So good. So good. Well, we just came to the end of the provision series. It was a really long series. Eight Very weeks. Long. The Israelites what? were in the desert for a long time. Long time. Yeah. But it was very cool to see how God provided in so many miraculous ways all through mm. their journey out of Egypt and into the promised land. We've learned a lot over the last eight weeks. It's yeah. been great. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've had a few questions that have come in and we are going to answer them. So, I'll do the first one. Ooh. Okay. What is your favourite part of the road trip and KTV road trip? <laughs> a road trip? A road trip and KTV road trip. I think what they mean so, is like the road trip at KTV. So, the road yeah. trip that we've been watching each week on KTV as well as just a general yeah. road trip. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. I think Does to me. Road trips, I love the souvenirs. Ooh. And a couple of our guys collected souvenirs along the way. I'm a I like mm. souvenirs on mm. my road trips. Mm. It was cool that Don and Kate got to see all of the big like banana yes. and prawn uh, and all you know. the pineapple. Did yeah. they see the big guitar? That was cool. No, they didn't. Where's I that? Think they missed that it's one. in Tamworth. That's cool. Nice. I don't think Okay, sorry, next question. Alright. Uh what is your favorite story from the provision series? Ooh. Ooh. I loved that God made the helped the Israelites cross a river twice. So cross mm -hmm. the Red Sea and the Jordan River. That was so cool. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I personally also loved um, the time when God just made food fall from heaven. Oh. And provided for them every day with just the right amount of food that they needed. And then they went them. back the next day to get more. Exactly. Which is great. Every single day so we provided good. just what they needed. Imagine just food falling from heaven. It's amazing. Okay. Very brave. I'm going to ask the next question. Very brave from heaven. Cladding yeah. the chains of meatballs. What yeah. is one way God has provided for you? Ooh. Well, you know, during school, I there was a time where I didn't have many friends. And God provided some really good friends that... Like 20 years later, they're still my besties. That's nice. cool. So that's nice. pretty cool. That's, that's amazing. Cool. Yeah. Mm. Well, for me, me and my husband, before we got married, we were really struggling to find a place to live. And about a week before we got married, God provided us with a house, which oh, wow. is pretty awesome. That's amazing. That is very cool. Very so God's cool. timing. Um, it, mu time? it must be my turn. Okay, <laughs> you ready? Here we go. Question time. Can someone please provide me with some sun protection? That is legit the question Donna. i am wearing a really cool hat it is very cool 
Wow. Can, can, and I'm willing to share it with you. Would you like my hat? I would like your hat. Yes. I'm going to provide you with this really awesome hat. How convenient. It is like, I feel like these questions came into the table, though. But that's all right. It looks, it looks amazing. It looks stylish. It's pretty cool. Stylish. All right, who wants yeah. the last, last question? question? I'll take it. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Mm. Ooh, this is a good Ooh. one. What are the Ten Commandments? No. You're lying. As no. in, like, do we need to name all Stealing. Yes. Stealing or no stealing? No stealing. No stealing. <laughs> I said no stealing. Uh, I don't know like no stealing. Um, no coveting, no like what? wanting other people's stuff. Um, mm. That's true. Um, Something about my mum and love dad. Love your father and mother. Yeah, love your father and yes. mother. Keep one day special in seven, so honour the Sabbath day. Yes. yes. Sunday. No, no God. God. No. Yay! Yay! No other gods. No other gods. No idols. No oh. idols. Um, do not murder. Yes. Do yes. Not Very um, important one. Honour marriage. So mums mom's and dads honour marriage. And yeah. the last one, one is do not use God's name in vain. <gasps> we oh, we actually did it. That's amazing. Oh, really so proud of us. So, like, so, shouldn't be amazing because we, we didn't little... teach it. Yeah, yeah but, but I'm just impressed. Yeah, but that's I mean, really good. Yeah. What is God's the best God's. and biggest rule that God set? Is like Jesus said is the most important rule. Love the Lord your God. With mm-hmm. all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Awesome. Oh, I love that we amazing. said that with confidence. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Love God. Love others. Yeah, totally. Love it. Pretty much. Now, it has so been good. a fantastic series. We've really enjoyed learning more about the Israelites and how God uh, led them to the promised land and how they're part, a really big part of God's incredible plan for all our people mm-hmm. that we are re- uh, eventually see in Jesus which we are going to continue to unfold over the next few weeks. And next week, we are starting a new series, Yay. which we're all really excited Yay. about. Yeah. Uh, it's called Heroes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, we're going to look at some fantastic heroes from the Bible um, who were pretty ordinary, actually, but because of their incredible trust in God, they had the courage to do extraordinary things. We're going to learn how God can use us to do extraordinary things and be heroic in our everyday life as well so kids look forward to that uh, we are so so excited for this next series um and yeah it's been fun today it has been fun yeah. thanks for joining us at the table guys bye, bye. bye. cool what a great segment what a great segment i love that every I time love that. They welcome it. back welcome to back. zach and rachel we're doing show and tell exactly there's a rachel and zach I think Zach and Rachel sounds good. Zach and Rachel. I hate to admit it. I, I didn't want to say anything, but I think it does sound That's better. fair. Um, it, I think it's your turn, Zach. It is my excited. turn. I brought along uh, some special things. If you uh, are not aware, <laughs> Rachel and I have both finished. It's true. <laughs> We've never mentioned it before in the show before. Never. Uh, and my middle name is actually Essa, E-S-A. Mm-hmm. Not a very Australian middle no. name, but I'm named after someone called Essa Ripa. He is a Ooh. artist in Finland. Yes. Um, that I am related to. He's my grandfather's cousin. Interesting. So um, today I brought along that. some works of his. We've got yes. um, we've got that's we've got like a some fields and some uh, yeah, it, like really cool images. So there's that. I also brought along a book uh, that talks about my grandparents uh, leaving. Finland oh, exciting. when they, uh, well, my grandfather leaving Finland. I Great. thought I'd just read you some, just an Great. excerpt. <laughs> yeah, I think we'd all really enjoy <laughs> just that. Just an excerpt. We have, um, Aimo Oli Yudo Stoista, Pietalan Suresa Pirhisa, Han Meni, Naimi Sin Maria Ripan Kansa Ya Heli Sinti. Ah, and obviously mm. I understand that as a fluent yeah, Finnish yeah, speaker, course, but for the, ki- the couple of kids at home who might not also be Finnish. Yeah, that says, um, Aimo Pietala left Finland. He was married to... Maria? There we go. There great. we go. <laughs> that, that was great, and I think it's really special that you get to have that family history. So maybe it kids, is. after this, ask your parents about what your family history is. Yeah. Are they from Finland? Let me know. <laughs> they might come be our let, cousins. Come and let Rachel and us know if Please. you're from Finland. That'd be great. We'd love to meet a cousin. Indeed. Well, well, I think it is now time for teaching. It is time for teaching. So we'll go and we'll... We've got something special in the works. <laughs> you have a look at this teaching. Will. This is the final week of our provision series. It's been so cool to learn more about God's people, the Israelites, and how he has always provided everything that they need. And in turn, we've learned that God provides everything that you and I need as well. 
because he created us and he knows what's best for us. And he loves to give good gifts to his children. You know, sometimes God's provision looks a little different to what we think we need or how we want something to happen. But we can trust that he is always with us and knows what is best for us. And last week, we learned more about Joshua's story and how God used him to lead the Israelites out of the wilderness and into the promised land. The land that God originally promised to Abraham many generations ago by this point. And God again showed his amazing provision by parting the Jordan River for them to cross through and reminded them of the importance of giving thanks and remembering all the ways that God had provided for them. Now, now all that stood in their way was a big, scary city called Jericho. In order to get to the promised land, they had to go through Jericho. It was the only way. And God had some pretty specific instructions to the Israelites that they had to follow in order to conquer Jericho and make it through to the promised land. They had to trust God and follow his instructions in order to get to where they were going. Now, today I have some helpers who are going to help me tell the story. And I'm going to read from Joshua chapter 6, and these guys are going to act it out while I read it. It says this, Now the gates of Jericho were securely shut and locked because of the Israelites. No one went in and no one came out. The Lord said to Joshua, See, I will give Jericho into your hands. March around the city once with all the army and have seven priests carry trumpets in front of the Ark of the Covenant. Do this for six days. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. When you hear them sound a long blast, have the whole army give a loud shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and the army and everyone will go straight in. So Joshua called the priests and said to them, take up the Ark of the Covenant and have seven priests carry trumpets in front of it. And he ordered the rest of the army, go march around the city. Do not say a word until the day I tell you to shout, then shout. So the army and priests marched around the city, circling at once. Then the army returned to camp and spent the night there. Joshua and the army then got up early the next morning and the priests took up the Ark of the Lord. They marched around the city once while the trumpets kept sounding and returned to camp. They did this for six days. On the seventh day, they got up at daybreak and marched around the city. Except on that day, they circled the city seven times. The seventh time around, when the priest sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the army, Shout, for the Lord has given you this city. The city and all that is in it are to be devoted to the Lord. When the trumpet sounded, the army gave a loud shout and the walls came tumbling down. So everyone in the army charged straight in and they took over the city. They devoted the city to the Lord and destroyed with the sword everything in it. You see, with God's help, the Israelites defeated Jericho. Now they could go and get into the promised land, just as God had promised. So our bottom line for today is God always provides what he promises. You know, the Israelite story teaches us that God is trustworthy. He is powerful and he is always faithful to what he promises. And he provides everything that we need along the way when we trust him. And the Bible is full of words and promises that God has given us. Promises of joy and peace and purpose and protection. And when we follow him and have faith in him, we too can trust that he will always provide what he promises. We can have assurance that he will always be faithful to what he speaks to us and what is written in his word. Let's pray. God, I thank you that you are faithful to what you promise and you always provide what we need in the process. We thank you for the Israelite story and how you provided everything they needed along the way uh, to get them to the promised land, just as you had promised all along. Thank you for Joshua and the Israelites' courage in doing uh, and following your instructions so that they could see um, the promised land. 
And we pray that you would help us remember and trust you and follow your instructions as well so that we can see you provide in our lives uh, and provide all that you promise to us as well. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Matka tetin laivala ya se kesti kaksi kukoata. I'm o ole familiar kimenen wita ya si. Oh, Zach, Zach, I think we're back. Oh, hey, sorry. Welcome I was back just, from I'm teaching it. Catching up on some genealogy. It's important to know where you came from. It is really important to know where you came from. And I've actually been on the edge of my seat, Zach, since you yeah. said we were building up to something. Yeah. We what? were building up to something incredible. Now, I'm not sure if you kids uh, had this when you were in school, but the best show and tells were always the ones that you could interact with. Yes. Like, you know, some kids brought in like their pet chickens or like um, Feathers, yeah. or other interactable things. But <laughs> yes. one way to interact with things is I think to kinetic eat. sand. Kinetic sand. Someone brought in kinetic sand. I don't so remember that. Changing. But we weren't at the same school, so that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I loved when kids brought in something to eat. Oh, so we better. have brought dun, da, da, da. Dun, da, da. Oops, some was... cookies that we baked ourselves. Woo! They Thanks. Thanks, Thanks us, us for baking them. You kids just come on right. They smell really good. You yeah. kids just come on right over and just grab one. We'd real love quick. to give you one. We'd love to give you one uh, so that you can um, mm. enjoy. Try. No, no one's coming. No one's. Oh, Should we gonna... try cooking? I think I think it's best. We don't want them to go to waste. We don't want them to go to waste. Yeah. All right. Do well, you want like a, a, a triple choc chip or a regular choc chip? I'll go for a triple chocolate. I won't wow. lie. I've eaten three of these today, so I might just only eat a little bit. That's fair. I might eat your other little bit then. Right. Um, mm. 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 I think if I'd been in school and someone brought this in, I would have been jumping for joy. Mm, there's quite a few um, tasting notes. <laughs> That's also what I thought about when I was eight. <laughs> it's quite good. Well, thanks so much for joining us for our first mm. week of show and tell. I'm here excited at to see what everyone else brings excited in. Excited to see what everyone else brings in. Mm. Um, but you'll have to check back next week. Yes. To see what they bring in. Have a lovely weekend. Have a lovely weekend. Have a cookie. Have a Come and get one. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's enough for you. Come on. Come get a cookie. Come get a cookie. Go get a cookie. <laughs>